In this edition, a delegation led by Prime Minister Dr. Rabi Ahmed has visited plots of farmers in North Swazon. Finfina City Administration promised not to the city displays any farmer from this land. Hello and welcome to Romeo Broadcasting Network News. I'm Thomas Kamalato with the list story of the hour. Those were the headlines in our news in brief. A delegation of senior government officials led by Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed has visited plots of farmers in North Shawa zone of Amahara Regional State. Dr. Abiy has appreciated the farmers whose plots, farm, whose plots have been visited and called on farmers to work hard for more achievements. Here is a clear goal for the tell. A delegation of senior government officials led by Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed have visited plots of farmers of Morat and Juru district of Amhara Regional State. Villagers of Kusai Hamlet have also briefed about their exemplary experiences. Yeah. Establishment and procedure of the cluster is that first we've chosen the plot and discussed with the farmers about the selected seeds, fertile soil, fertilizers and pesticides to maximize our product. After the visit, delegates have also discussed with the community of the area. While chairing the discussion, the Premier said that patriotism has duplicated itself by industriousness. The previous heroism has been seen on development and peace. We're also proud of you. You have shared your knowledge and experience to maximize productivity. That's a wonderful thing to be scaled up to other areas. President of the Ormia Regional State Lamamagar for his part said that producing on black soil is a good lesson that has to be scaled up. There is a vast Oromia land covered with black soil and unproductive so far. This is a good lesson for us to cultivate our black soil. Residents of the district have also questioned about their infrastructure problems. While responding to the questions, the Premier said that the government would exert its maximum effort to solve their problems. Vice Mayor of Infinity Administration will never displace any farmer from its land. Vice Mayor of Infinity City, Takala Umar, said the city administration will never displace any farmer from its land. Discussion has been held on ways of rehabilitating farmers displaced from their land by the city administration. Olma Bain has the detail. The city administration has discussed with farmers displaced from the surrounding of the city due to investment. The discussion was mainly focused on how to rehabilitate the displaced farmers. The farmers said that they were displaced by the name of investment from their landers and faced many challenges. They have also said that they have been settling on land that has no fertility. <laughs> Where we have settled now has no basic facilities like water, electricity, and health centers. They have settled us on this area purposely to hurt us. We haven't got even fair compensation of our lands. They did what they want to do, but we are left without anything. We've been asking all concerned bodies, but still there is no response. We don't know why they wanted to do this all on these farmers. Now we are asking the government to make these individuals accountable for crimes they had committed. The farmers added that they have been suffering from lack of good governance, adding that their lands are still being grabbed by different bodies in the name of investment. Deputy Mayor of Infinity City Engineer Takala Uma for his part said the city administration would never allow farmers displacement hereafter. <laughs> This city shouldn't push you out, rather you should be part of it and be developed with it. It is your city, therefore hereafter, Finfine City's development will include you. Engineer Takala noted that Finfine City administration would work to modernize farming style of farmers of the city. 
We have been organizing an institution that works with farmers to enhance their productivity in the city. Therefore, you have to work hard to be benefited both from your landers and the city. The Minister of Mine, Petroleum and Natural Gas disclosed that the country needs additional three years to develop the, the petroleum resources in the Ogaden area. The nation has announced in June that it has discovered a huge crude oil reserve in Ogaden area, eastern part of the country. Kesola Tadisa, Petroleum Licensing and Administration Director at the Ministry, said that there are activities that need to be done before entering to the production process, drilling of hundreds of additional wells, as well as development of various infrastructure facilities that are important for the production process need to be done in order to develop the resource he added. According to him, these activities could take up, up three years. Besides the resource in Ogaden, the country is working to explore other potential areas, as Allah said. So far, five areas in different parts of the country are being explored. The Rift Valley, Abai, Makala, Matama, and the Gambela Basin are where the exploration are being undertaken in a website reported. Minister of Revenue, Minister of Revenue, Adane Chabebe said, nationwide anti-contraband campaign must be launched to effectively halt the problem. As they discussing, the problem has been organized at Inawasa town. Here is Fikad Brown for the detail. Ministry of Revenues has held discussion on how to control contraband and illegal trade at Awasa Town. Stakeholders from Oromia, Southern Nations, Nationality Regions and Federal have participated on the discussion. On the occasion, it is said that the government couldn't collect more than 14 billion per tax for the last four years due to contraband and illegal trade. Starting from 2014 to 2017, contraband material estimated to be more than 24 billion per were seized by the government. Minister of Revenues Adanich Abebe said contraband could be cause of conflict, adding that it needs hard work. Contraband is not a good thing. We can prevent contraband and We can prevent contraband and illegal trade through creating awareness and coordinated action. We can also encourage illegal trade in doing so. To do so, coordination work of all stakeholders is very crucial because the work is not done by a single group, she said. According to the report of Southern Mass Media, Adanis noted that it is difficult to control contraband and illegal trade by the government alone, adding that public support is very important in this regard. <laughs> It is a must to create national public movements to control contraband and illegal trade. Especially, the youth should play their part to control the activities because it can limit their opportunity of participating in legal trade. It can also blacken their future, so they should be aware of it, she said. Deputy Commissioner of the Federal Police Commission, Malaku Fanta, for his part, underscored that the country is facing security problems because of the contraband. In the Federal Police, as a federal police, we are preparing a new structure which can solve the problem from the grassroots. We are also ready to prepare enough human power. The participants have also raised different ideas and discussed it. Bottle Town Administration has restored more than 70 hectares of land, investment land, left idle for many years to the government stock. Muktaraj has the story. A 17 hectares of land taken for investment purpose and left idle for several years has returned to the government stock in Batu town of Eastern Shawadon of Oromi Region State. Residents of the town have appreciated the action taken by the government against land grabbers. Baton. The Batu town administration has been doing better against illegal land grabbers. We want the development of Batu town and we work with illegal investors. <laughs> The actions which have been taken by the town administrators are the better ones. Any Ethiopian investor 
has the right to invest in part of town. Some investors who were unable to invest on the land they own said, Lack of security in the country has hindered me to invest on the land I owned years before. The rise of US dollar is another challenge against my investment activities. Despite that, now I started to engage in my investment works. Head of the investment office of Batu Town, Tibad Rasad, they have been working on a land left idle after taken for investment purpose years before by working with developmental investors. Left the amma. We have been working a promotion to attract developmental investors to invest their wells on the land we have prepared, restoring it from the land grabber. Mayor of Batu Town, Alamu Dawano said they are ready to work with investors for more success. Returning the land to the government stock by itself is not our objective. Our ultimate objective is providing the land resources we had to the investors with positive attitude toward investment. The European Livestock Development and Fishery Agency said efforts are being exerted to improve quality of hide and skin preparation to increase the income gain from this sector. We have more on this. Migus Mugeta and Shaul Dubala are residents of Great Jaso district of North Shwazo. These individuals are engaged in hide processing in the traditional way for many years. Mayor Shamaret Ilenim, certain bazuno di juchachin minasad dego bazuno inyam mead dego. We're working on hide production for many years. We don't have any other work. We are leading our life by this work. We want to expand it, but we are producing in a traditional way. Unless we use modern way of production, it is benefitous and satisfactory. We want government support to modernize our work. Head of Grad Jasso District Urban Job Creation for Security Office, Asha Brigitacho said they have planned to organize 50 individuals on high production in the district. We have a plan to scale up this work into industry level. For the time being, about 50 individuals are identified to be organized under association on high production. So we are in a good move to realize this. Expert of market development at North Shawadon Market Development Office, Mamu Shabara said more than 4 million were earned from 140,000 leathers supplied to the market in the last four months in the zone. We're working to combat the problem of legal trade and benefit the individuals who engage into this work through facilitating conducive market environment for them. Head of the Army Animals and Fish Development Agency, Dr. Kafanaifa, said that to double the income gain from hide processing, due attention should be given to quality. About 320 million US dollars earned from laser production last year alone. This is not as expected. Due to some legal brokers, the income was reduced, but it can generate more for the country's development. So in order to get the intended benefit, we're working with the European Market Development Agency and other stakeholders. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Up next, I will join you with our weekly program pick of the week. Stay tuned.